Let's go get him! Let's go get him today, man! Let's go! Hey, Dominic on three! One, two, three, Dominic! Talking about how this game might be affected with the rain, you talked about the run game right there. I want to revert back to Week 15 when the 49ers clinched the division. Now, that was a good win. The 49ers won 21-13, although it, the score doesn't necessarily tell it right because the 49ers were up 21-6 uh, to 6, up until uh, the fourth quarter with three minutes left when the Seahawks scored a touchdown and then closed it out. But the Seattle Seahawks ran the ball well in that game. They ran for 70 yards only, but on 14 carries, ran for five yards apiece. Recently, the 49ers have struggled against top rushing attacks. I'm specifically talking about the Oakland Raiders, where, or sorry, Las Vegas Raiders, when Josh Jacobs did had a good game this uh, in Week 17. That was a part of the reason why that game was close and why Jarrett Stidham could operate the way he did, because Josh Jacobs ran the ball well. That could be one thing where you look for it. And again, it could be. it, it looks like it's going to be a rainy day meaning more emphasis on uh, on running the football. Now the Seahawks offensive line isn't that isn't very good. It's not very good, but Kenneth Walker is a good running back. And so that's where you might see a a, a change with the Seattle Seahawks, more towards a focus towards the uh, more of a focus towards the running game and the conditions might make it a little harder to get out to an early lead. The 49ers yeah. have also struggled sometimes with that early lead. You saw it in this game, only pulled away from the Cardinals in the second half itself. And so that early lead might not come as quick, which might allow the Seahawks to run the football more. You see where I'm going? I'm not necessarily saying the 49ers should be worried. I'm just saying this game is going to be a little different, I think, than people think. There, At least there's the reason for it because of what's aligned in the last few weeks. Now, Geno Smith has done a good job. The 49ers, though, have done a great job in limiting quarterbacks in the quick game. And Geno Smith will likely have to resort to that given uh, his protection with the offensive line. But if the Seahawks can sustain a running game, that might keep them in the game longer than many expect. But the 49ers on the flip side, they also have a powerful running game. Christian McCaffrey and Elijah Mitchell is an elite duo. That's why this week I made the bold statement of saying Elijah Mitchell's return would be the most valuable return coming back. Not Debo Samuel, Elijah Mitchell, because the 49ers in the playoffs are going to require that physicality. Elijah Mitchell showcased today he clearly can bring it, and he also provides extra juice at the running back position, which Kyle Shanahan trusts because Elijah Mitchell can operate as a pass catcher, but yeah. also with the inside and outside zone run. It's not just a one-dimensional rushing attack, and that's nothing against J.P. Mason. Jordan Mason, who's done a phenomenal job as a backup, done very well when he's got an opportunity. It's just It just seems like the trust is more with Mitchell, which allows for the uh, 49ers to to utilize either of their backs in their sets and creates their uh, creates more opportunity for their offense and keeping the entirety of the playbook there.